Hey boys and girls, welcome to chapter three, lesson one. And before I start today, I have an announcement for chapter three, and that is this. Chapter three is a no calculator chapter. So all your calculations on chapter three have to be shown, no calculators at all. In fact, I will turn around the calculator uh, folder in class. Uh, lesson one, the topic of lesson one is how to add and subtract decimals. Uh, this should be review, even though a lot of kids uh, forget this. Um, it, you've definitely done this before in elementary, uh, but here we go. First problem we're going to do is estimate and find the sum of 13.8 plus 15.31. So the first thing I want to highlight to you is that the word sum, if you see the word sum, that means automatically you're going to be adding. Okay, A sum is an answer to a multiplication problem. So really we're going to do two things here. We're going to make an estimate and find the exact sum. So estimate, how are we going to estimate? We are going to estimate by rounding 13.8 uh, and 15.31 to the nearest whole number. So right here, I'm going to abbreviate estimate, and I'm going to look at 13.8, and the, that is closest to 14 because eight is closer to 14. So my estimate, I'm going to make that 14. And 15.31, the, the closest whole number to 15.31 is 15, because the next digit is a 3. So it's closer to 15 than it is 16. So my quick estimate would be 14 plus 15. And I add that, and I get about 29. So my answer should be about 29. Uh, so now let's find the exact sum. So your strategy when you are adding or subtracting decimals is that the decimal has to be completely lined up in a straight line. So now let's add, let's find the exact sum. Again, our answer, that's a quick estimate. Now we're going to find the exact. So I'm going to make sure that I have these lined up. My sum, 13.8 and 15.31. Now, I don't, there's an empty spot right there. I can fill that in with a zero if I choose. Okay, so I can fill that in with a zero uh, just to make it even if I want, or I can leave it blank. But the key idea is this, your decimals have to be lined up, and in your answer, the decimal drops straight down. So I know that my decimal point is going to be right here. Now I can just add like normal. Zero and one is one. 8 and 3 is 11, so 1 carry the 1. 1 and 3 makes 4, plus 5 is 9. 1 and 1 is 2, and my answer is 29.11. I compare that back to my estimate, and it's close. So I'm just going to put a check mark that my answer fits. My exact sum fits my estimate. Okay, the next problem we're going to look at, uh, by the way, uh, on some of the problems today in your workbook, we're going to add uh, doing an estimate as well as finding the exact sum. Okay, um, all right, next problem is find or actually let's say we're going to estimate 
and find the difference. And this time we're going to do the difference of 18 subtract 5.314. 18 subtract 5.314. And again, we have an estimate. Okay, and another keyword. Whenever you see or hear the word difference in math, find the difference, you should automatically think subtract. So estimate and find the difference of 18 subtract 5.314. So quick estimates. Again, same thing we did in this example. We're going to round these to the nearest whole number. 18 is already just a whole number all by itself. 18 subtract 5.314. Well, it's between 5 and 6, but because the next digit is a 3, this is closer to 5 than it is 6. So in my estimate, I'm going to make it a 5. My quick estimate is 18 subtract 5. My quick estimate is answer should be about 13. Those two little wavy lines uh, mean approximately, so an estimate, it's about 13 is what my estimate is going to be. Okay, now let's find the actual difference, not the estimate, the actual. Now 18, there is no decimal point, so I want to talk about that for a minute. If you don't see a decimal point, Every number has a decimal point, even if you don't see it. If you don't see a decimal point, actually, let's write this down here. No no decimal point. If you see numbers without a decimal point, like a 1, a 2, a 3, a 45, whatever the number is. You can always add a decimal point. These have a decimal point, it's just not listed. If there is no decimal point shown, I want you to think about, well, how do you number your paper? If you're making a list, this is how you number your, how you would number it. One, that little dot is a decimal point. Two, three, 45, so if you don't see a decimal point, if there is no decimal point, this is where you could always add a decimal point if you wanted to, to the very, to the right of the number, okay, at the end. So I'm going to do that right here, 18 decimal point, and now let's find the actual difference. So 18 decimal point, take away, Five, three, one, four. Okay, now a common mistake here is that when you're subtracting, kids will just write four, one, three. Uh, can't do that. You have to fill in empties with zeros. So I'm going to put in zeros right here. And then you have to subtract just like you normally would. Zero take away four, can't do that. So I need to borrow. Can't borrow from here, need to borrow from here, still nothing. I need to go all the way over to this eight to borrow. I'm gonna cross out the eight, make that a seven. Then this becomes a 10. But just briefly, it becomes a 10 but now I need to borrow from the 10 to come all the way back over this way. So it's a 10 for a moment, but then it becomes a 9. Then this 0 becomes a 10, but only for a moment, because I'm borrowing from the 10, becomes a 9. Then this 0 turns into a 10. But it stays a 10. I don't, I don't have to keep borrowing anymore. That, I hit the end, that's where I stop. That's my setup right there. 
So now I can subtract. 10 take away 4 is 6. 9 take away 1 is 8. 9 take away 3 is 6. 7 take away 5 is 2. 1 take away nothing is 1. And decimal point comes straight down. Let's highlight that. Here's my decimal point dropping straight down in my answer. And I get 12.686. Uh, now, let's compare that back to our estimate. Estimate was about 13. Is this about 13? You bet it is. So, fits my estimate. All right, so today on your practice, there are some problems that don't include the estimate, but we're going to make that part of our practice today. And I will tell you the problems where you have to do an estimate as well as find the exact answer. So estimate, estimate is rounding to the nearest whole number and then taking the sum or the difference. Finding the exact is lining up the decimal. That's our big idea for today. All right. Uh, that's it for chapter three, lesson one. Uh, we do have a hidden treasure puzzle today, and here it is. Okay, in this design, right here, in this design, the puzzle today is you can only move three sticks, and you have to make exactly two squares. So in that design that you see, move three sticks and create two squares. Okay, so copy that down, try to play around with it, move only three sticks and then you have, and in doing so, you have to create exactly two squares. Okay, that's chapter three, lesson one, with our hidden treasure, and I'll see you shortly at chapter three, lesson two.